Apostolic Christian Assembly Perambur Ministries presents Truth for Growth a daily devotional program God bless you as you prayfully listen to this brief biblical teaching for your spiritual growth Now Pastor Adam Samuel Ingleton will bring to you the infallible word of God Greetings to you in the precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ For a brief meditation this morning let's turn our bibles to Psalm 93 verse 1 The Lord reigneth he is clothed with majesty the Lord is clothed with strength wherewith he hath girded himself the world also is established that it cannot be moved How does this psalm end Look at verse 5 Thy testimonies are very sure holiness becometh thine house o lord forever have you noticed something in these two verses god's holiness is always connected with god's reigning or ruling verse 1 of psalm 93 begins with the lord reigneth and the last verse ends with holiness becometh thine house o lord forever it is very interesting to note that a number of psalms which starts with the lord reigneth in with holiness similarly like psalm 93 look at psalm 97 also it starts with the lord reigneth and the last verse ends with give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness in verse 12 again psalm 99 begins with the lord reigneth and the last verse ends with our god is holy in verse 9 what to be learned from this god wants holiness to rule in our lives so that he may reign or rule over us if god has to reign over us he wants holiness to rule in our lives when he sees holiness in our lives he begins to reign or rule over us the holy god will not rule over those who do not allow themselves to be ruled by his holiness god's people should be those in whom the lord reigns in holiness if you look at proverbs chapter 25 verse 28 he that hath not rule over his spirit is like a city that is broken down and without walls the city whose wall is broken down is always vulnerable to the attack of the enemy dear child of god or you like a city without walls the devil and his agents are playing havoc in your life then perhaps the reason for some of your major problem is that you have not let the lord or his holiness rule over you it only means the spiritual wall of your life is broken down what did nehemiah do when he heard the walls of jerusalem broken down look at nehemiah chapter 1 and verse 4 and it came to pass when i heard these words that i sat down and wept and mourned these certain days and fasted and prayed before the god of heaven if you feel that the wall of holiness is broken down in your life this is what we must do like nigemiah of old we must sit down and weep and mourn and fast and pray before the god of heaven a wall around the city is very important a compound wall is very important for your home it is the wall that separates your home from the street a street is a public area but your home is a private area if you have a wall around your home all cannot enter into your home it's only the wall that keeps your home protected in the same way a wall of separation a wall of holiness is very important for the protection of your spiritual temple the bible says your body is the temple of god a wall denotes separation and standards if the wall is quite high no intruder can easily jump over it and come in it speaks of our spiritual standards our holy god reigns over his holy people when god rules over lives there will be peace and justice let the government of your life be upon his shoulders upon the shoulders of your heavenly bridegroom the lord jesus christ let him rule over all your affairs According to Isaiah chapter 9 verse 7 the Bible says of the increase of his government and peace and there shall be no end the zeal of the Lord will perform this 
if you are holy and allow the Lord to rule over your life, then the Lord will bless you and establish you and His holy zeal will perform this for you. God is zealous for His holy people who allow Him to rule and reign over their lives. In other words, as God rules in your life with His holiness, He will rule over all the powers of darkness in your life, bringing triumph and victory in all your trials. Let purity and holiness crown your spiritual life. Do you want the holy and loving Lord to rule over you and your family? The only condition is holiness. Think of Joseph for a moment. Joseph in the Old Testament decided to be holy and God ruled and reigned over all his circumstances in life. Daniel and his friends decided to live holy and God began to rule and reign over all their circumstances. When God rules over you, you will experience only success and never a defeat. Let's pray and ask the Lord to reign and rule over our lives. God bless you and God be with you. Amen.